What the heck are these? Can you guess? If not, stick with me because we're going to jump into this together and I'm going to share it with you. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share these guys with you. So I designed these up for my subcompact tractor. What is a subcompact tractor? Well, it's sort of a neat, nifty little tractor, front bucket. You can put a backhoe on it and all kinds of other cool stuff. Matter of fact, I even started a subcompact tractor project channel. I'll have listed down below and probably put a card up here. So if you're interested in rural land ownership, subcompact tractors, tractors in general, making things for tractors, check it out. But with that, one of the pieces that I wanted to do was come up with a way to carry shovels and rakes on the front or front bucket of my tractor. And so on the front, there are two hydraulic cylinders. And I'll do some overlays up here in the corner so you can see. Uh, and I wanted to be able to attach something to that to hold the rake in there. Now, one of the pieces that I've done typically is just lay the rake across the cylinders. But as you're driving across bumpy land and everything, it tends to bounce off and things like that. So I needed a solution. So I turned to 3D printing and through Fusion 360, I designed these guys up. Now, I want to talk about these guys a little bit because there's a lot of tips in here that you guys can reuse. First and foremost, these are designed to go around the cylinder. So the hydraulic cylinder snaps in here. And then what we do is we use a zip strip to kind of go around here. Let me put this in the right way. And then push it through here. And then this attaches and cinches it to the cylinder. And what happens is this now locks it onto the cylinder. So it kind of grabs here with friction and then obviously cinching with the zip strip. Now there's two zip strips on here that hold this on here pretty firmly. Now one of the pieces, I printed these without supports. I printed them in a um, sort of horizontal orientation as you see them here. And it leaves the opening actually very clear, no supports. If you were to print this with supports, this hole would be plugged and there's no way you could clean it out. So one of the things when you're thinking about designing like this, you also have to think about the manufacturing process or the printing process. How will you print it? The other piece I had to deal with was this piece right here. Uh, because one of the things the bucket sits typically at an angle so it's sort of like this and one of the things that I wanted to do was to have the opening at a bit of an angle so it held um, you know whatever tool I was carrying sort of downward at a bit of an angle so it would have a harder time to bounce up if I would have put this more like this it would have tended to pop out because that was my first design and after looking at it I decided very quickly that that would be problematic and converted design and this is one of the things I loved about Fusion 360 is its ability to pivot so quickly now one of the other pieces this is actually the same even though they're different and so in Fusion 360, I simply used the mirror command to mirror this body. So there is a left and a right hand side. So I had to design this only once. And again, it goes on the tractor like this. And again, I'll do some overlays or have done some overlays in the corner so you can actually see how it comes together and works. Now, this probably isn't a final design. It's a good working version. It's fall here in Michigan. I need to do a lot of stuff. I don't have a lot of time to get crazy, but in future versions, what I am going to do is designed in some sort of cinch for this. 90% uh, of the time, this works fine because the throat of this is deep enough and the tool or implement is heavy enough, it will hold it in place and not bounce out. But I want a little bit more tactical uh, grip mechanism in here. So one of the things I'm thinking about is maybe printing something out of TPU that's a bit of a collar that fits in here and then that cinches the opening down up here so when you pop the tool in it provides resistance going in and out and then epoxy this to the PETG. Now I did use PETG here uh, you know again for temperature resistance because again summertime in the shed or the pole barn uh, it gets a little bit warm out in the field gets a little bit warm and again I didn't want uh, deformation of the parts. Uh, I really think nylon would be the best and I probably will do a version of this in nylon in the future uh, for the tractor but for right now this is going to get me through the fall and all the yard chores I have to take care of so this should fit the majority of compact tractors out there 
This has, uh, I believe, a 50 millimeter cylinder uh, diameter. It's built around most of the Kubotas. Everything else has about the same size. I particularly have an LS MT125. That's why blue. Uh, LS makes the New Holland, makes the case. So I will also put out on the, my website, the design store, the Fusion files for this. So if you want to modify it, come up with your own ideas, that's great. Uh, also, if you have suggestions of how to improve this, maybe you're a subcompact tractor owner, uh, you've done something like this, hit me up in the comments below. Also, if you're a subcompact tractor owner and you've done something related or in just another 3D printed project. So if you're a subcompact tractor owner and you've done something like this with 3D printing and you've come up with something, please share with me down below. I may even cover it on my subcompact tractor projects channel. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Swag Shop's going to be up there. Subscribe over there. And we'll catch you in the next video where we're designing something that was cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.